What's up YouTube? How is it going? I'm here to talk to you guys about uh, some ghost stories I've experienced over my my time here on planet Earth. Um, these have happened to me and they're real and I've told them before so it's not like I wrote it all down. Um, one of my first experience me and my mom were leaving my grandparents house and uh, we were walking out to the bus stop and about half a block down the street when I was about six or seven years old it's weird how you remember things when you're a little kid we saw what looked to be like my uncle waving to us and it's kind of funny you're like oh that could be anybody but my uncle drove a green bike and he had like like um, a black bag at the back so you can carry stuff and he had a tattoo on his leg when he was like 20 and uh, long hair like the undertaker trench coat like you know you can't mistake him for anybody else he dressed pretty gothic and this person waved to us and me and my mom both saw it and it creeped us out so when I got on the bus we got home blah 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 she called my grandma and she said that my uncle's been at work all night and that it wasn't him. So that really fucking freaked us out. And still to this day, we know what we saw. And there's no doubt about it that that was a ghost or someone else. You know I mean? It's not 100% it was a ghost. Obviously he could have mistaken us for the wrong person. But the person was close enough that we figured out that, hey, that looks like, you know, her brother, my uncle. Green bike, like, come on, waving to us, long curly hair. Maybe he was just waving goodbye as we were getting on the bus. And uh, she's like, no, he works nights tonight, so he's sleeping. And he went to work as soon as you guys left or whatever, you know. So that was fucking weird. After you guys left. And on the bus he went to work. I, I can't remember. But he wasn't nowhere around. So that's one story. Another story, I was babysitting my younger cousins. And I know exactly where this house is still, to this day. And I know exactly what I was doing. It's just creepy how some things you don't forget, like I said. I was probably like 13, 14 years old. And uh, the toilet would always flush. And I'd always hear shit. And I'm babysitting them. And they're sleeping. And, you know, my cousin's trying to scare me. But there's ghosts. And I'm babysitting. And the next day I wake up and, like... All the pots and pans are out on the floor, the cupboard doors are open, and the bathroom lights are on, like, shit like that, when it's only just us, me, and my two cousins in the house. And I was the first one up, and I slept on the couch downstairs. I would have heard it if it happened in the kitchen. That's really fucking weird. Like, one or two pots were out, and, like, a lot of the cupboard doors were open. And she said other things have happened in that house since she's lived there. But uh, the one night that I stayed there scared the shit out of me. And that was enough right there. <laughs> Whether that was a ghost or not, who knows? You know what I mean? Believe what you want out of this, but this is just what happened to me. And then my aunt told me a story that she was moving out of her house. And a pot like flew across the room as she was packing her shit with my mom. And uh, she's like, did you see that? And she's like, yeah. And... Like it happened at the corner of her eye, like it freaked them the fuck out. It's creepy. But, the ultimate ghost story, that is 100% true, and I would not bullshit lie about this, this happened to me. Back in 2003 or 4, uh, I was about 14, 15 years old. Yeah. 04, 05, around there. And I'm sleeping. And I wake up during the middle of the night, and my arm's in the air, and I open my eyes, and I see a ghost floating, length, like height length, with my end table. I couldn't picture out the bottom part of his legs, or his face, like just the silhouette, and he said, come with me. Well, motherfucker, that freaked me out so bad. I didn't sleep in that room for the last six months I lived in that house. I was so scared. And just to talk about it for two seconds, it's like it's a lifetime 
of horror, man. It scared the shit out of me so bad. And for those that do not know, which I haven't told anybody on my YouTube channel, my dad passed away when I was seven years old. So my mom thinks it was my dad coming to haunt me or tell me or whatever the fuck to come to heaven. And uh, it scared me. Now a lot of people, they say they've had dreams where it felt real. But I woke up with my arm in the air. I didn't like daydream, you know I mean? Like sleepwalk, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You wake up in the kitchen like, whoa, what? No, I was waking up with my arm in the air and I opened my eyes and I see this fucking person telling me to come with them, like to pull me in. Man, that scared the shit out of me. And this person was like, from this height all the way to the ceiling and I'm a tall guy and my dad was tall. So, who knows? That's just fucking creepy. Creepy shit, if that was real and not a dream or whatever the hell, I saw a ghost. Those are real. Ghosts are real. Motherfucker. That's scary. And then, like, little things would happen, like, since I've lived here, like, the pantry door always likes to open. And I mean, like, you pull on it and you can't open the door. 90% of the time I come in the morning, go to work 6 in the morning, whatever, door's fucking open. How it opens? No idea. But it's always locked and closed or whatever. And you gotta, like, you gotta turn the handle, pull it open to open the door. Always open. Wide open. And I've heard voices, like over the few years that I've lived here in my last place. Like I, one time I was here playing a game and I swear to God I heard someone fucking call my name from upstairs. Like, clear as tits. And my girlfriend works night shifts. And it's just me here with my son, and he's in bed. And I hear someone yell, Matt! Like, loud as hell. Or, Matthew! And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, did I just hear that? Or, like, am I hearing shit? You know, I'll go look, nothing's there. You know what I mean? You let go, if you believe in ghosts, you know, they're gonna, it's gonna fuck with your mind. It's gonna get to you. So... I don't know, those are my ghost stories. I'd like to know what uh, ghost stories you've had. You probably had worse than me, that's for sure, but I've never had like anything touch me or anything, but my uncle did tell me, the same uncle I was talking to you guys earlier about, that when he was at work one night, uh, he worked at Zeller's, I guess at, like, as a janitor, and uh, he's going up and down the aisles at like three in the morning, and it's just him and half the lights are off, you know, to save hydro. And he was going around one corner of the store, and you see like pillows fall off the shelves, but you know, that could happen anytime. I'm just saying, just stupid little things. Toys would go off on their own, but you know, I told my uncle, a lot of those toys have sensors, right? But he says, no, when I want in those aisles, the, the toys would go off. And he said he felt someone tug on his coat once while he was at work and it scared the shit right out of him. Who knows? Maybe I'll go to Alcatraz one day and see something and catch it on film. Well, there you have it, YouTube. Leave your likes and comments. Questions, concerns, stories, and the link in the comment box down below. See you later.